Oh, you bet. It's not only a win for folks that want to see Trump on the ballot. It's a win for the rule of law. It's a win for our Constitution. It's a win for uh, putting voters first, whoever they want to vote for, uh, just like our founders intended. I'm really pleased to have uh, co-led with West Virginia and Patrick Morrissey, uh, the attorney general there, a coalition of 27 states that came together and asked the court to decide this the right way. Uh, because it really is clear under the 14th Amendment, Section 5, uh, that this is something for Congress to do. Now, I have on, on this radio, on this uh, telecast many times and in the work I do every day, uh, have fought for states' rights, and pretty successfully. But there are times, as our founders framed our Constitution and this whole country, where the federal government, particularly Congress, has the primary role. And this is one of those times, because there's only two offices in all of the United States, where all of us as, as citizens over the age of 18 get to have a choice in who we want, and that's president and vice president. So for a state like Colorado in this case, or Maine in another case, or this judge from Illinois, to throw President Trump out of, uh, off the ballot, or any presidential candidate off the ballot, that affects and dilutes the power, in this case, of Indiana voters. And so we just can't have that. That was really... a uh, really tickled by the opinion. I think on your news program, I called it months ago, I said it should be a 9-0 opinion. And uh, at the risk of looking like Kreskin, uh, I'm glad it turned out that way. It was a unanimous decision on that. Uh, but not everyone agrees, as you can imagine, in this very polarizing uh, time that we do live in. The Colorado Secretary of State, that is Jenna Griswold, not happy about the decision, saying she doesn't trust Congress to take action when it comes to Trump. Watch this. My larger reaction is disappointment. I do believe that states should be able under our Constitution to bar oath-breaking insurrectionists. And ultimately, this decision leads open or leaves open the door for Congress to act to pass authorizing legislation. Uh, but we know that Congress is a nearly non-functioning body. So ultimately, it will be up to the American voters to save our democracy in November. Which many would argue is where it should have always stayed, in the ballot box. However, <laughs> Congressman Jamie Raskin saying he is working with his fellow Democrats on this, with Congress attempting to move forward in light of the Supreme Court decision. Uh, your thoughts by the Secretary of State in Colorado, her words there on a cable news outlet, and then also perhaps maybe other congressional leaders trying to take action yet again to remove Trump. Well, th those are words that are not surprising and should be expected from, you know, a comrade Griswold. You know, it's they're, they're, first of all, they're circular. Yes, the people should decide, and you tried to stop them from deciding. Uh, so I, so, so you know, their her comments are sort of confusing at the very least, to put it charitably. Uh, but more to the point, you know, this is the ideology of the left, Okay. We don't trust Congress. We don't have faith in our elected officials. So we're going to decide, or in this case, I, the Secretary of State, I'm going to decide, being Griswold. And 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 so, you know, this is what, um, yeah, I'm trying to be in a good mood this morning, but this is what <laughs> political hacks do when they're in office and wield their power. And the Supreme Court saw right through that. I'm pleased that they did. Uh, we're on the right track. Anybody who loves uh, the Constitution, anyone who loves uh, American exceptionalism with a capital a, a and a capital E and understands that we are unique and that our process should be protected uh, will appreciate yesterday's decision.